Hello friends, happy holidays. Welcome to my, another favorites video. This one is for December. And I hope you like my Christmas tree on the background here. Um, I thought I would film in a different place um, and hopefully that will add a nice holiday touch to this video. And I know that I named my last video December favorites, but it was really for November. I filmed it at the beginning of December and that's why I mix things up a little, but I will leave all the names as is, but this one is for December. So I apologize about that. And now let's get started. And today, as usual, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite products uh, and also lots of craft ideas, because for me, winter is the ultimate craft and paint season <laughs> for some reason. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's begin with makeup today, uh, but first I just wanted to try and explain what look and feel um, I am trying to go for with uh, my makeup, my perfume, my lotion, and even nails. Um, now, considering that there are thousands of different aesthetics out there right now, I'm sure there's a word for it, I just don't know what it is. If you do know the word, please let me know in the comments below, but I will try to do my best to explain it. So, um, I was experimenting with more beige nude makeups, um, and for me, those colors are evocative of vanilla, of uh, vanilla frosting, of cashmere, of something just very warm and comforting, um, and also, for some reason, I associate this color with like very expensive the smell of very expensive powder, you know, the ones that Guerlain makes, um, or just the very stereotypical lipsticky powdery scent. That's what I associated with also. So um, I'm not sure if a makeup can be called powdery. I'm not sure that's the right word, uh, but something very um, feminine, minimal, and... Uh, inspired by vanilla and this is not the vanilla girl aesthetic okay because i did my research and that is not what i'm trying to imitate here even though it's beautiful but i'm going for a different feel um so i guess if a makeup can be inspired by something powdery even though um eyeshadow is made out of powder i don't know but <laughs> i'm telling you it's really hard to explain but i'm just going to sh start sharing products and maybe we'll start making more sense um so first is this l'oreal lipstick i love their packaging it's so pretty um and this is called the fairest nude and um as usual everything will be linked uh but this is the lipstick i'm wearing right now um, I know that the lighting is not the best because it's evening here, um, but it's a just a little bit darker than my skin tone and it's the perfect nude lipstick. Um, when I saw pictures of this online, I thought it would be more pink, but it is more beige on me and I really, really like it. Um, the second is this small e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Um, it's called Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow. and. Um, this color um, is just a little darker than my skin tone, which is perfect for a simple eye makeup. And this one is a little bronzy. It's not too glittery, which I really like. I can wear it on a day-to-day basis. And then the darkest brown is not way too dark. I can easily blend it in. And this is the perfect little eyeshadow palette for my day-to-day -day makeup. Um, and now let's go into the... Uh, let me just mention my nails uh, briefly because I shared this nail polish in one of my summer videos, I believe. Um, but I wanted to mention it again because I'm still using it. I still really love it. It's very versatile. Um, it's OPI's uh, Chiffon de Vue. It's a perfect sheer pearl color, which I think is perfect for any season. And now let's get into perfumes. Um, there was a huge sale in Victoria's Secret and um, I purchased the Velvet Petals Body Mist along with the Bare Vanilla Lotion. I wanted to, to get a matching one for, a matching lotion for the scent, but they ran out because of course I went there in the evening <laughs> when um, 
the shelves were pretty much empty because um, I think one item was like six or seven dollars, which is really cheap for Victoria's Secret. Um, but this, um, I think this perfume epitomizes the feeling that I wanted to convey. Um, it's very, it's very almondy, powdery, and smooth. Um, I've encountered very rarely uh, in the internet a phrase uh, boudoir perfumes, um, as in a lady's private chamber, and apparently perfumes in that category smell like powder, lipsticks, and that is, you know, what I was trying to look for. And I think that this is a perfect um, boudoir uh, perfume. Um, again, if, if that if that is even a category of perfumes, but um, it's not extremely powdery, but it's um, it has that softness that I really like. Um, and then this body lotion is, um, it just smells like very nice warm vanilla. And I already have a small set of the lotion in the perfume, but I'm running out of it. I've been using it a lot. And so I'm really happy about this purchase. Um, so now let's move on to the crafts, but please, if you know the name of the aesthetic I'm trying to go for, please let me know because, um, I need to know the name for this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's continue. Uh, for my crafts, let me first share the little garland that I made. Um, I got this out from one of those scrapbooking albums that you can find at Michael's. Um, and I put this in my study, uh, but I was uh, particularly inspired by this winter wreath. So I decided to paint it and let me show you how it turned out. So I made this little card. Um, all in watercolor and um, even the words Merry Christmas I wrote out in watercolor. Uh, a huge find for me was using thin brushes and I know it sounds very obvious but um, I thought that the brushes I had were already thin enough and I thought that maybe I was clumsy or I don't know how to use it but then I stole one of my brother's brushes um, and I think it's five or ten hairs thick and it's perfect for these very small detailed pieces and I can even use it for calligraphy which is really really amazing um, so that's that um, and for some other techniques that I discovered <clears throat> I want to credit the channel Voya, I think <clears throat> that is how you pronounce it, but I will link their channel in the description. Um, and he or she, I don't know, <laughs> um, they teach uh, <clears throat> how to uh, paint watercolor flowers step by step. Um, and it looks so minimal and elegant. I really don't know why that channel doesn't have more subscribers. Um, so if you like watercolor and um, the paintings I'm going to show you, I recommend checking it out. Um, so I painted um, this little sweet pea, um, then violets, uh, wisteria, and pansies. You can probably tell I really like shades, uh, different shades of purple. And I know that it's not particularly... Uh, they're not particularly holiday paintings or sketches, but um, I really wanted to paint purple flowers. Um, so I highly recommend checking out Voya's channel and um, yeah, trying to paint different things. Um, I really enjoyed painting this last night. Um, and now for some Christmas tree decoration ideas. I made this uh, garland uh, from dried orange slices. And look how beautiful the light shines through it. Um, it's very budget friendly, very easy to make. Um, I'm sure you can find tutorials, but you just cut an orange into slices. You can dry it um, lightly in an oven, and then you just put a thread through the pieces. You can see the thread <laughs> in some places. But yeah, I think um, it's a very beautiful um, beautiful festive decor and even if you do not put up a Christmas tree you can hang it anywhere uh, and then some other pieces that I made um, are just paint on these little wooden plaques um, uh, this is lilac again purple flowers <laughs> um, a little pansy um, and 
Ah, oh, this one didn't turn out that great. I want it to look like Holly, but I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> but I decided to leave it here. Maybe I will paint something on the other side. Um, I felt bad about throwing it away, but yeah, just didn't turn out the way I wanted. Uh, but this I think looks decent and um, yeah, I don't know why I have flowers in a Christmas tree, uh, but I just think it's a very creative idea. And um, especially if you have kids, um, I think this is really um, a fun project to make. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this month's favorites. And I wish you all the best in this holiday season. And I wish you all the best in the new year. And I just realized that I will probably see you in the new year. So yeah, I wish you all the best and bye. I'll see you later. <laughs>